Wednesday, you click Deputy President Ronald Lamola received a warm welcome in Twana University of Technology, where he presented a public lecture on youth and the public service, organized by the South African Association of Public Administration and Management. Speaking to a handful number of students and social community members, Lamola highlighted the importance of youth leadership and its participation towards the betterment of the country and its economy. He said there's no revolution driven by elders and that the youth must plot its future. To participate and drive their own nations. All over the world, nations are driven by young people. There is no revolution that happens in the world driven by the elders. The elders have accepted that society is not going to change. They are just waiting to collect their pensions and die. <laughs> but young people must plot their future because young people are the ones who are going to be here in 2020, they will be here in 2030, they will be here in 2050. It is therefore imperative that the youth must participate and plot the future of South Africa. Making reference to the generation of Nelson Mandela, he said the youth must have a mission so they can produce economic freedom. Lamola also touched on the issue of nationalization, saying the government should nationalize everything so the youth can run the economy of this country. Nationalization debate. And ourselves as the youth league, we have said that the state must nationalize iron ore, it must nationalize magnesium, it must nationalize platinum, it must nationalize coal, it must nationalize magnesium, and it must nationalize the zinc. Because these should be our strategic resources. And the state must not end there. It must also nationalize the sasol, it must nationalize accelerometer, it must also nationalize amro platinum. That's what was saying. That's why the debate is. We are no longer debating. It is without a doubt that Ronan Lamola remains intact in the ANC Youth League's call for nationalization and the participation of the youth in board leadership and the economy of this country. He also maintained his stand on equality, reaffirming that sport would unite South Africans, but the economy and the equal access to basic needs. Zinke Komalo, TT News, Social